So next week we can see what they are. You should magically be seeing the hand from last week. This week we are doing something a little bit different. It's a poker chip channel, so I'm going to pit two poker chips against each other. We have the lovely Horseshoe Cincinnati versus the Horseshoe Cleveland in light of the NBA Finals. <laughs> so who are you voting for? Since the Cincinnati Reds or the uh, Cleveland Cavs? But one's baseball and one's basketball. Well, we don't care, right? Because guess what? Oh, big news. Not really news anymore. I mean, a couple of weeks old. Sports betting is now regulated by the states, not federal government. It's so exciting. Is this sports betting? Could this be legal? Could you legally bet on this in a certain state? I don't know. Is this a sport? That's another, that's a whole different topic. So what's going to happen is I'm going to deal this out. Tell us what you have in the comments. And I want you to pick who do you think is going to win, Cincinnati or Cleveland? So they're pitted against each other. So I guess technically there's three options. There's um, one's going to win, Cincinnati's going to win, Cleveland's going to win, or it's going to be a draw. Okay. Chop the pot. Everybody shuffled up at home. You got your deck. You've just been shuffling. You have your two cards. You're just waiting for me to deal. All right, we're going to deal out right here. <laughs> Remember to flip these over. I'm talking to myself. Note to self. Oh, we need a pot. Here, some lovely uh, world top hat and cane. This is just what's been bet so far, I guess. All right, there you go. We're going to burn, burn a card. And here is the flop. Everybody ready for this? <laughs> Should I do a dramatic pause? Again, tell us what you have and tell us who do you think is going to win. Not a word. Not a word. Okay, so for those in the future, what is the ugliest poker chip on the planet? And it's going to be different for everybody, right? I mean, some people would choose one of these as the ugliest. I think these are lovely chips. And even in this little realm of Cleveland and Cincinnati, which we were looking at earlier, they are real It's difficult to choose. People who like inlays will say, oh, well, this has a golden inlay and it's lovely. I love the golden horseshoe versus this kind of faded one right here versus somebody who's more of an edge spot person. Well, these edge spots are way brighter than these. These are just look faded and dull. So this chip is better every day. And that's not including mold and a million other things. So choosing an ugly chip is like choosing from your children. Well, which child is the ugliest? Or, you know, the women's Hawaii bikini team. Well, which one's the ugliest? You're just scratching your head. Uh, well, And, you know, people really start nitpicking at that point. It's like, well, contestant number two, her eyebrows cause an alias aliasing problem on my camera so we, that's just not good and so we're gonna call her the ugliest really if you're talking about aliasing on a camera it really gets nitpicky so understand that none of the chips i'm going to present to you all right maybe one of them <laughs> i'd like i like chips in general and so these are still chips i like they're just ugly okay number three in order the third ugliest poker chip on the planet this is just my opinion. The Cromwell. I love the Cromwell Hotel Casino. Okay, it's in a, an amazing location. It's right like kitty corner from the Bellagio Fountains. Who could ask for a better location? They have that awesome pool at the top. It's a wonderful casino, but this chip is really, really, it throws me off. Okay, so it's like purple text with like pink outline, brown edge spots. Ugh. And the art right here, okay? So the TR, Total Rewards, this is just an ad. What are we going to put on this side? I don't know. Can we put an ad on there for something? Well, for what? Oh, uh, what about the Caesars Total Rewards? It's such a good idea. Okay, and they're going to put a postmodern design right here. All right, I'm okay with postmodern. You flip it over, you're like, expect to see more post. What? No. They're pushing Art Deco. It's like almost this Art Deco MW for the Cromwell. Really? Folks, really put a lot of thought into that, didn't you? Well, what are we going to put an ad on one side? What are we going to put on the other? Oh, how about the name of our casino? Okay. <laughs> and in addition to that, it has this weird like security feature. It has like this fingerprint security feature. 
well, it gives the chip an identity, and so you know, it's a real authentic chip. Yeah, right. They took a circular saw to it, and that's. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just I don't like the look of it. So enough about that. The Cromwell, in my opinion, number three on my list. Now moving on to number two. This green interlocking chip. This came out of a game. I'm looking around for it. I don't have it down here. Um, we have a game called Wits and Wagers, which is a lovely game. I love playing that game, but I had to replace these chips. I got some Faro China Clays from Apache Poker Chips, and that's what's riding in this box right now. Uh, this chip, the flashing right here, this green, there's a reason why when you buy bicycle interlocking chips, they avoided the green, because it is horrendously ugly. I'm not a big fan of interlocking chips, I think they look terrible, plus this green, plus the flashing, this has got to be one of the worst chips I've ever seen in my life. Number two on the list. Number one. <laughs> Nervous giggles here. Who made this chip? Yours truly. Do you ever, you ever get this bright idea? It's like, oh, well, these leading manufacturers who make these compression molded clay chips, they don't know what they're doing. Look at this. They don't know what they're doing. So I'm going to do better than the world leader in compression molded clay chips. I'm going to find some clay and I'm going to compress it and I'm going to put a label on it. Yeah, how did that work out for you? There are people out there watching right now who are like, yeah, I just took my dog out and uh, she made a prettier chip than your chip right there. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, I believe you because this is seriously terrible. And that said, I'm going to go wash my hands now. And be sure to leave a comment. Tell me what are the three ugliest poker chips for you. And be sure to visit our sponsor, PokerChipForum.com. Please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. My name is John Hobby.